so if you have a large amount of the power cord and you have mess like this you wanna store it fast and easy and also you wanna deploy it fast I suggest you to make the paracord donut like this one Hello everyone and welcome back to the Alpha 1982 your YouTube family channel my name is Dale and today I'm gonna show you how to make this paracord donut the fastest way to store your paracord and carry it with you in all times that you need the survival cord or simply you make something out of the paracord and you want to store it fast and easy and you want to deploy it much faster and easier than you store it so in the next few seconds I'm going to show you how that work one more thing before that if you like this please give a thumbs up share this video with your friends and the family and of course don't forget to subscribe this paracord donut can be also made to be the paracord bracelet it have a nice weaves on top and I admit it's thick one but it's very very neat so I'm gonna show you how you can deploy it in just a few seconds so take this end where you finish the paracord donut like this open it like so and just simply pull it by doing that you see you unwrapping the paracord donut and you again have the bunch of the cord to use as you can see so here I have around 20 or so feet of uh, paracord or in the metric measurements around 7 or more meters if you wanna learn how to make this tutorial is right around the corner so stay tuned so we have a bunch of a cord here and we wanna store it or carry it with us in a survival situation first we're gonna start and take the end of a cord like this into our palm and then we're gonna create around seven or eight turns in our hand you can make it more than if you wish it's up to you now when we've done that take it like this and simply create the loop on the top like this one here and then simply through the middle or through the loop here like that and pull it through here like this and now tight it up when you tight it all the cord will get into the loop here so we need to pull it through a bit like this to tie it up and then we're gonna continue so take this end let me just pull this aside so you can clearly see so this side here we're gonna take it and pull it through like this and we're gonna tie it like so and this is the basic principle of making this paracord donut let me untangle this so pull it a bit tighter and then pull this cord through the middle and pull it through now pull the one side so you can tie it up and continue I'm gonna zoom a bit so you can clearly see pull it to make the little loop tie it up like this and then this end of a core pull it through the loop and with this side here while you're pulling you will close this loop here and you'll tighten the donut it. 
as you can see here. So we have the loop from this back side. We need to pull this end from the back through the loop here to the middle or the center of this circle and up through the loop here. So as you can see, we are making it from the two sides, front and the back one. Now this loop here is from the top or the front side, as you can see. Now we're gonna make it to the back side and through the loop, creating the another one and pull it this left cord here or left side of the cord. You see the loop is from the back pull the cord through the front, tie it up a bit and then through the loop and create another one. This is a very easy way to store your paracord or create the paracord survival donut so you can carry with yourself the large amount of the cord in a simply round shape as you will see on the end so as you can see here I am almost on the end of this row here so uh, if you have a lot of a cordage you can make on the start the more rows on your palm so you will have only one uh, row or a layer of a cord uh, weaved like this uh, this is the great way to make the bracelet, paracord bracelet also. As you can see it have nice weaves and let's just finish this layer first and then we're gonna start the second one. So you can actually have a lots of layers or a weaves looking like this but then the donut will be smaller or the diameter inside the circle will be smaller. So I highly suggest and recommend to you to have more the free uh, loops of a cord when you're starting you can make it 20 or even 30 if you have lots of a cordage and then start making the paracord donut well that being said let's continue So as you can see we started a new layer, if you like this video guys please give a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe.
So as you can see, our paracord, paracord donut is finished. Of course, on the end of this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and the family. And as always, until the next time, stay safe, be well, wishing you just best. Dale signing out. See ya. Bye.